learning to bicycling again after a long hiatus. And so it's fun to see that there's events for bicyclists that's kind of slow and easy and um, has people of all um, ages and families and uh, different uh, levels of uh, expertise in biking. I'm a super volunteer. <laughs> so that means helping out full time all day and being as useful as I can. Cool. Having a blast. <laughs> if you look for signs that say street life on them, you can get stamps and they'll stamp this passport for you. See this sign that says, it looks kind of like that, but it says street life. There's one right down here at, at the next intersection at 20th. I want to walk sticker right here. Josh is right so over here. Yeah. Can we take it? <laughs> I want to walk. There Did you, you want one too? So try to get stamps I from you. Three, two, one, one, one execute. One, execute. execute. People need to get out more outdoors, be on bicycles, be on skateboards, walking, be active, and that means a lot to me to see the community doing that. It's nice having uh, everybody on the streets, just seeing so many people out and about. This is my first time uh, participating. I've heard about it in years past and finally got my, my wife's bike fixed up and got my son's bike going so we could all come. Prepare to be blown away. I just want to thank all of the Kickstarter backers who supported Ciclovia this year because um, it's made a huge difference and it's been really great to be able to meet them in person today. But for those of you that can't make it today, thank you so much. It's been a great opportunity just to come out and see the community and help out with the event. We're just doing repairs for free and just having fun. <laughs> There's a little wedge mechanism done in here that when you tighten this up, it wedges together and that's what holds it straight. Um, and if that gets loose, then the uh, you know, the handlebar can be dangerous too because you'll go to turn and we'll go one way and the handlebars will go the other. So, beauting, um, better health, especially for the kids. There's a lot more kids out here than I expected, which is cool to see because um, you see a lot of adults riding bikes, but not as many kids as you used to. And uh, I feel like this is really encouraging kids to, to ride more and, and get outside a little more too. I'm trying to get back into biking more, and so this is great to be out on the street and enjoy being out in a place where you normally wouldn't get to ride your bike. So, and then also I got a free repair, so I'm in good shape. Uh, and everything's been great, and I'm not sure we'll make the whole loop because we got a bunch of four and a half year olds with us, but, uh, but we're all having a blast. Well, I like how they have a jumping castle here and a chessboard over there. I like how they have a more games. I think Seclovia is an amazing opportunity to recognize that streets belong to people and not to cars. Um, and it's a day to get to know new, new people, make new friends, meet your neighbors, um, and have the opportunity to kind of just get out and really enjoy the neighborhood. Michael Wells on a bicycle with a big head on it that's opening and closing and he's serving aguas frescas. I recruited him. I built this piece in collaboration with Janet K. Miller, who is uh, the director of Joy here at Cyclovia this year. And uh, this piece is called Nom Nom Nom. And part of my uh, goal was to make it interactive. My kind of interaction is human, so instead of getting all technical, I made up a batch of tamarindo and some jamaica and got some ice this morning and I'm just giving it to people as a gift, you know, thirsty riders. And it's more fun that way. You get to talk to people and interact on a more human level. It was funded with a grant from the Crespi Foundation administered through the Tucson Arts Council.